I'm going to show you another move. It's very impressive for the customer. It's uh, the shaker behind your head, right? It's it. this move right here. It's very quick and nice. Okay, this is how we're going to do it at the beginning. A lot of people are scared to hurt themselves. Of course, you hit your head, you know, your shoulder, your bone right here when you throw it behind your neck. So what you're going to do to learn at the beginning is you're going to throw your shaker towards your shoulder, close to your ear right here, and grab it with the same hand so you have more control into it. Like this. See, I have control. Throw with the same hand. See, it looks very simple. Once it goes very close to your shoulder, then you, you just forget about this hand and grab it with the other one back here. See? Close to the shoulder, boom, grab with the other hand. Again, one more time, close to your shoulder, very close to your shoulder, and then bang, catch it with the other hand. And then after, when you get comfortable with it, then you're going to do both moves, spinning the shaker, like one spin, see, boom, same motion, little spin grab behind the back. Same thing right here. Yeah. It's very quick and it looks very nice. Back again. Boom. And the, the concept is the same for the spin. You spin the same way, catch it with the same hand, and then remove it, grab it with the other one. And you can move your shoulder away a little bit. What could happen sometimes, you may catch it right here because you're scared to hear yourself. And you're gonna catch it right here with your arm like this. I mean, that's fine. That's, then you can get away like this and keep going. But the best way to do it in more visual and more like elegant way, you will be catch it behind your back. With practice, you, you're gonna get it. You, this is a trick that you can learn in one day. And it's very, very visual trick.